and North Korea. It's gearing up for a celebration. People around the world are thinking twice before stepping out of their homes. But this weekend, North Korea will mark the 75th anniversary of its ruling party. Why is one of the world's poorest countries throwing a grand party? Is this a distraction? Or is this part of a tradition? This, by the way, is also a country where the leader once kidnapped foreign filmmakers. Watch this report. For years now, the Kims of North Korea have used propaganda to build a cult of personality around them. Kim Jong-un's father, Kim Jong-il, was obsessed with films and the power they had to sway minds. According to various claims, he collected 30,000 films during his lifetime. Even when watching Hollywood movies was illegal in North Korea. Kim Jong-un too understands the power of the visual medium. And the North Korean leader knows how to use it to his advantage. This weekend, he is throwing a grand party. The occasion is special. It is the 75th anniversary of the founding of the Workers' Party of Korea, the party that rules North Korea. The celebrations have already begun. On Thursday, Pyongyang hosted a concert. The attendees, presumably afraid of the Wuhan virus, wore masks as they watch the singers belt out patriotic songs. The concert will be followed up with a mega military parade. That could feature North Korean ballistic missiles. It's an opportunity for Kim Jong-un to project power, even at a time when he faces a series of challenges. North Korea still remains a global pariah. The pandemic has only exacerbated Kim Jong-un's troubles. North Korea still remains one of the world's poorest countries. The pandemic stifled the North's trade activities with China. Reports say the recent typhoons have left the agricultural sector devastated. But Kim Jong-un continues to chase nuclear power. North Korea hasn't reported any cases of the Wuhan virus. Several reports claim that Kim has issued shoot-to-kill orders to prevent infections. Despite the crisis, the North Korean leader wants to project strength. So Pyongyang will put up a show on Saturday, where Kim Jong-un might offer a glimpse into North Korea's advanced weapons for the world to see. The military march is expected to feature the hallmark of North Korean propaganda the image of a strong Kim Jong-un. He has mastered his father's propaganda playbook. Before he became North Korea's leader, Kim Jong-il served as the chief of North Korea's propaganda agitation department. In the late 1970s, he abducted South Korean actress Choi yoon hee and her director husband Shin jeong gae -un. They were brought to North Korea and forced to make four films to spread Kim Jong-il's message to the world. The senior Kim was inspired by the golden age of South Korean cinema. So, he kidnapped South Korea's best filmmakers for his propaganda drive. The duo managed to escape in 1986. Kim Jong-un has kept his father's propaganda department intact, but he has taken a different route to spread his message. He has leveraged TV broadcasts with overexcited anchors to beam messages about North Korea's nuclear program. The same medium is expected to be used for the 75th anniversary celebrations. If only propaganda could solve problems, the Koreans would have none. Bureau report, we are World is One. Thank you for watching Gravitas on Rion's YouTube channel. If you want to stay up to date with what's happening around the world, then subscribe to our channel and don't forget to like and share. Thank you very much for watching. Rion, world is one.